Shalabaka Prada Katabala Daba. Make sure you are praying. Kam Prada Kabala Daba Shata Paradaba. Lam Brete Kaparada Baladaba Kata Prada Kashele Balada. Kam Posa Tabala Kapris Kabala Karia Dabala Dabaski Prada. Pray in tongues for one minute. Pray in tongues for one minute. Labaka Sude Bela Hasiana Kataboshi. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me teach you something. Jesus was teaching and he said, the eye is the light of the body. Listen carefully. Please, please listen. The eye is the light of the body. Do you know what Jesus was saying? I hope you know Jesus was not teaching a parable. Go and Google the parables of Jesus. You don't see that story as a parable. He was giving something. He was teaching a powerful principle. That the eye, these two objects you see in front of your face. That there is a mystery. Seeing is only one of the functions. And it's simply because that's all science told you. There is a system of transporting realities to and from the realm of the spirit that only your eyes. That's why God healed every blind person he saw. There was no blind person that passed Jesus that was not healed. There were other cripples that he left them, but he was violent on blindness. There is a relationship between your eyes and your destiny. Listen, Paul became blinded by the glory of God, but God had to open his spiritual eyes to be seen first before the physical one opened. Do you know why your eye closes in the night when you sleep? Light me, Lord. Light my life. Light my destiny. Brothers and sisters, there are secrets in this book when you find it your results are not just an issue of wish these eyes you see let me tell you what happens anything the eye makes contact with consistently the mind the mind listen to me carefully what your eyes makes contact with it forces your mind to begin to think on that reality now watch this it is not the thinking about it it is an incubation that starts happening in the realm of the spirit now the holy ghost knows the solution are we together now you meditate not just by closing your eyes alone because sometimes you close the physical eyes but you are still seeing are we together now and so that's the reason why you pray well in the night because there are few distractions your eye is seeing but you just see black and white this color sometimes can create noise it is an enemy to meditation are we together go and close a room and sit quietly and play worship and see what happens to you where you are not seeing the speaker Nepa took light and you are using your phone to worship and you pray they don't bring light because it's doing something to you this eye is a transmitter the same way you have a radio wave watch this not just your ears this eye the creation of a radio wave is in the similitude of the way god designed men to work that you lift an antenna and it starts receiving the before you the goal is to get that sound to your radio is that true but you lift up something that something is your eyes that when you begin to make contact with the word of god i don't mean reading it just looking open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things what did david know
so you are making contact and all of a sudden let me tell you what will happen very soon your eyes will stop seeing you are looking but you are no longer seeing your mind is what takes over have you seen that happen that you are reading something and for hours you keep reading the same line you can't move forward that's because something more superior than your reading is distracting you in that case worrying the eyes then your ears these things are gates i'm showing you notice that you have a selection of songs in your phone or whatever you never sit down particularly to hear them but after hearing them five or six times you know the next song and you can sing along if they ask you to sing it on your own now you can't sing but once they play it you can follow it and sing these are systems the eyes is a very deep and dangerous mystery yes he told the man at the beautiful look at us use your eyes i'm about to talk to you i thought you said give me your ears he said look at us steadfastly and he looked at them and he said now you are seeing what was the requirement of elijah receiving from elijah not if you can hear me if you can was he not looking at him this is your bible i'm not reading an occult book this is your bible when jesus was was levitating to heaven the bible says they kept looking at him their eyes stayed on him until the clouds received him something happened to them could it be that the only thing you have been doing with your eyes is to just look around no that's why you don't remember the faces of blind people because you cannot see their eyes the 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 part that makes your face recognizable is your eyes Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light my life. says therefore get wisdom the bible says doth not wisdom cry it personifies wisdom that wisdom is calling on people and say please don't attempt to live without me when the lord was creating the heavens and the earth the spirit of wisdom was there your life cannot be created without it the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom is what is responsible for delivering the secrets of the kingdom without wisdom revelation is not even possible the spirit of wisdom will grant you access to scriptural solutions brothers and sisters you will watch mountains before you crash and people look at you and say what wisdom is this there is a relationship between mighty works and wisdom. Every time you see mighty works, strange results at the back of it is a scriptural solution. It's a mystery that was unveiled. When the spirit of wisdom comes upon you, then all other manifestations of the spirit can be made possible. Without it, you are just joking around. I saw this in my life. I craved.